Hi people, you okay? Welcome to Prince Mojo YouTube. This is not my, one of my normal vlogs. Uh, a lot of things are going on out there in the world at the moment in Hollywood. Especially a lot of actresses that have come out against Harvey Weinstein. And the things he did, which are really, really horrible. For 30, 40 years he abused so many different women, maybe even men as well. And a lot of men and women have been abused in Hollywood just because they were young, naive, or trying to push their career forward. And these people had the power to stop their career on track straight away. So Harvey Weinstein, plus a lot of other producers and directors out there, have done this and are doing this. So that's one thing I want to talk about today. And the one person I've picked out is Evan Rachel Wood. Evan Rachel Wood is a fantastic actress. At the moment, she's on Westworld. But in her lifetime, she has had so much pain and grief. And this is just one story of a lot of women in Hollywood that have had this problem at them. Thrown. She was raped by one of her partners. And then by a bar keeper at the end of the night in Hollywood, which is horrible. Some bar she was at and this barkeeper raped her. She was only young them days. Evan Rachel Wood has put her story on Twitter. I'm going to read some statements out that she put out on Twitter. She was only young them days, 17, 18, 19, 20 years old. She's got much stronger now. She's been able to give out her statements to the world, to the people, telling that what happened to her. Let's go through her Twitter account and start from the beginning. This is the Me Too campaign on YouTube, on Twitter at the moment, started by Melissa, Alisa Alice, Milano. She started this off. So let's have a look. A lot of women out there, even regular women, even every single girl on the street get abused and harassed all the time. And this should not happen in our society, in our world, especially in the Western world where laws are much better and things are more protective, but still people are afraid to talk about it. Evan Rachel Wood comes up with these. I was so young and confused, it didn't occur to me that, in fact, it, if it was done by a partner or if I were asleep, it's rape. She didn't, at that age, she didn't think it was rape. She thought it was her fault. That's what women need to stop thinking. Do not blame yourself. Blame the person that done it. As simple as that. No means no. I did not know it was rape and I felt like it was my fault because I said no repeatedly but the door was locked, the building was empty, nobody was there to help her and she thought because she was with him in the building that it actually is okay but it's not okay. I was scared and overpowered so I left my body, went numb and gave in, blamed myself for years. Evan Rachel Wood blamed herself for years for getting raped by her partner which she didn't realize at the time was totally, totally wrong, totally insane. This shouldn't have ever happened to her. When she was raped again, being raped once made it easy to be raped again. I instinctively shut down my body, remembered, so it protected me. I disappeared. So when she was raped again, her body felt this pain before, so the body understood what was happening, and the body just hid it from her that she was getting raped again, and she let it go again which is really, really horrible. Getting raped once and getting raped again, which is very, very disgraceful and horrible. And this happens in Hollywood all the time. So many actresses are coming forward at the moment. Angelina Jolie, Gwyneth Paltrow, Cara Delevingne, all these have been attacked and come after by producers and directors. Mainly producers, they're the ones that are there doing it the most. She thinks, Evan Rachel Wood thinks, because I was ashamed and considered a party girl, I felt I deserved it. Shouldn't have been there, shouldn't have been bad. Nobody deserves it. Even if you're a party girl, if you want to, if you want to go out, get drunk, have fun, that's up to you. That's your decision at the end of the day. It's nobody else's decision. That doesn't give anybody the right to say, I'm going to rape you, I'm going to assault you, I'm going to abuse you. That is not something allowed at all, ladies. Remember that.
She says, I have struggled with long-term PTSD for years. The nights, the terrors, sweating and screaming in my sleep have slowed. My heart is stopping. When someone sneaks up on me, rage, when rust, trust is broken, intense fear of being alone in my house. She is a Hollywood actress, powerful herself, but she still feels fear. She feels fear and pain when this is happening, when she remembers back to what happened to her. Very big respect to Evan Rachel Wood for putting all this on Twitter. Check out her Twitter account, Evan Rachel Wood on Twitter. All her stories on there, everything that happened to her, how it happened. She doesn't name the people that done it. Maybe it's because of legal reasons or maybe she doesn't want to confront them anymore. But she doesn't name it. She's brave enough just to tell the story. She even gets panic attacks still to this day. Panic attacks, remember these events. It says here, it took a while for my body to feel again after shutting down. Empathy, joy, sex, tears, all had to be relearned. Derealization was the scariest part about PTSD for me. Anytime I was in a confrontation, my body would go into automatic fight or flight. So her body now straight away goes into protection mode when something bad happens or when she can sense something bad going on. These are the symptoms of rape, attack, assault, harassment. Girls getting harassed isn't just rape. When, the, when a man or a woman pushes you in the boob or in the bum, that's harassment as well. So make sure don't let anybody get away with these kind of things towards you. Anyway, that was me just talking about Evan Rachel Wood's little thing going on in her life where she was raped twice by two different people and the Me Too campaign on Twitter going on at the moment. So people check it out, see what it's about and learn and listen and talk to fellow family members and help everybody who's been involved in these kind of situations. Thanks for watching Prince Mojo. Take care. Bye.